Hi there, welcome back to the channel. So after the iOS 17 update, it can be 18, doesn't really matter. But after the iOS update, if you get a problem with this doctor with the true depth camera, Face ID has been disabled, then here is how you can solve the problem. Now remember, mostly this problem happens because of the hardware related issues, but sometimes only giving or using some tricks and tools can actually help to solve your problem. First, before you do any deep down process, I would say just try to restart your device and see what happens. Sometimes giving only a simple restart can actually solve the problem. Now, let's say you did that, but nothing works. The next, I would say just hard, just test the hardware for the software or the two dip camera. How you can do that? You can just open up your app store and tap search and type hardware test. I'll just type hardware test here. So if you just do that, you're going to get a lot of applications. So trust me, I have gone through all of that, but I found this application is pretty useful. I'm not promoting these apps, but I'm just, I tested these apps and I found some good results for uh, the things that I need. So you can come back here and just open up your face ID test and tap there and tap begin test. If it's successfully disabled and if it says face ID sensor is working, authentication is successful. Don't worry, your problem is not that serious. Still, you can do a couple of things to solve your problem. However, if it doesn't work from here, you don't have to watch the full video. Just, um, you, can, you have to take your device to the Apple Gear. But in case, if you just want to solve the problem before you go into the Apple Center, you can use some tricks to solve the problem. You can open up your settings on your iPhone and you can just head over to your accessibility and open it up here. You'll see the face ID intention, open it up here and make sure you enable these three options. If any of those disable, enable it and check your ratio. So at the same time, go back here and just open up your face ID and passcode and you just come over here and scroll down and just tap set up alternative appearance. Now, if it's already set it up, you can choose set up an alternative appear and check whether it, this is going to help you to solve your problem or not. But if it doesn't work, scroll down and tap reset face ID and simply just um, enable this to set up your face ID all over again on your iPhone to solve your problem. Also, make sure to just um, enable the true depth camera or true tone on your iPhone so that your true depth, ca you know, you know, true tone actually works with the true depth camera. And after that, just check your issues. If none of those work, lastly, you can head over to this iPhone and you can just open up your general and then just uh, open up your software update. So if there's a new software update available, just update it. Sometime updating the new software can actually solve the problem. But if none of those help, before you take your device to Apple Care, just come back to your, um, you know, like transfer reset iPhone, tap reset and just tap reset all settings. Even if it fails to worry, you know, solve the problem, then choose to reset all settings. I mean, to erase all content, even though this is going to remove all the things from your iPhone, but doing this actually can solve the problem. Well, hey, these are the things that you guys can do on your iPhone to solve the problem, but if you still got have any problem related to your iPhone, please let me know in the comment section to get the further video or further help.